Hello Zebrahead and welcome back to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle and today we're going to be tackling the final boss of World 3. Now before we do, I do want to check, do we, we have a ton of coins, so I want to make the most of these, I don't think we have too many weapons that will actually give us a damage boost right now though, so we would love to check it out and find out, I mean we do have a decent team, I'm going to stick with the team we have, which I think is uh, Mario, Peach, and Rabluigi because it seems to actually be working, everything else we've been struggling with, but there's been no struggle here, I mean there has been some, don't get me wrong, you guys probably saw last episode, but um, Okay, we definitely want to upgrade this. It's good against hoppers. We'll go ahead and give that a shot. We still have a thousand coins left over. If we run into anything else, I don't think we will. But we also have a bunch of points. So, I mean, a decent amount at the least. We can increase his dash. Oh, but he, he really needs more distance. But we need to give him something for this boss fight right now. And the first thing I see, of course, is the increased dash damage. So we'll go ahead and do that. When it comes to Rabbit Luigi over here, my boy... Uh, I think we need to give him increased vamp, so we'll go ahead and do that. He has 10 points left over. He can't really do much with that. We uh, see Peach over here, and we can increase her dash damage as well. She has max heal. We can increase the heal range, but once again, we need to do something that we can get now, which honestly ain't too much. I think then we'll go ahead and do extra dash damage. It's something, you know? It makes him a little bit more versatile, a little bit more damage every single round, so that's good. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and back out. And we'll just do it, we'll do it, do it. Hopefully things work out. I am so nervous. Why, it's a theater. Tom Fan sure has a flair for the dramatic, doesn't he? I guess, um, beep -um. Just a quick note that, uh, to let you know that my email was hacked. Please ignore my messages about Mr. Tom Fan as I suspected it's a trap, oh no. Though no doubt you figured that out for yourself already as I'm sure it was obvious to you as it was to me. Uh-oh, Beepo, come on, dude. So you finally decided to show up. You're just in time for the show. So who hacked the email? Was it you, Bowser Jr.? I had the bait. Bowser Jr., it was you who sent me those messages asking us to collect the relics of goodness so we could unlock the moon gate and find Mr. Tom Fan, wasn't it? I knew it all along. No, you did not. Well, I suspected. Okay, I just figured it out in the last 30 seconds. Tom Fan was a red herring. It was just a trap, wasn't it? Oh, he's real all right. In fact, thanks to you, he's about to make his debut right here on this very stage. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, I get it now. He's gonna combine all three of them. Go on now, Spawny, do your thing. Hmm, maybe you need a little encouragement. Don't hit him. Oh, you're gonna scare him, okay, that's much better. I mean, it's still awful, but <laughs> poor little Spawny. Behold Tom Fan, better known as Phantom! <laughs> what a pun. Oh gosh, look at you. <laughs> Phantom hogs the spotlight. He's so like, uh, magnificent, I guess, is a word for it. <laughs> you think yours is a real mustache? Who's done me a thousand wrongs ever since Donkey Kong? <laughs> Seethering down every pipe, despite his plum shaped body type. Oh, oh. rude! <laughs> Who's born a run in fear while screaming, Mamma Mia? Who leaves me gray and grim? Oh, what does Peach see in him? <laughs> Why don't you ask her? She's right here. Mario, with great joy in my heart, each time I watch Mario Kart, you're first and doing so well. But here come the Spanish. <laughs> oh, my. And now you. When your rabbi friends have finally met your end Just let me catch my breath Then I'll I see you today Oh no <laughs> Holy cow, that was awesome! Bravo, bravo! <laughs> Okay, defeat the boss, and the, uh, we're just fighting him now. Mario does not take well to insults. He's gonna beat you up, buddy. My sensors indicate that Mr. Tom Fanner, the Phantom, is immune to attacks when he's hugging the spotlight. 
If this greedy songbird is to sing his swan song, he, we must find a way to turn off those lights. Okay, these lights right here, huh? Can we just blast them? I'm gonna assume we can't. It looks like we also have some Valkyries going on. If I were to hop over, I, I can't land on this thing, so there's gonna be some alternative way we can attack it that's not sliding it, apparently. I mean, maybe we could, and I just, I'm not in the range for it properly, but we're gonna find out, because I'm guessing this is gonna be similar to, uh, oh, we could just blast him right now, too. Interesting. Um, Let's try it. No, he just goes through him. Okay. <laughs> so funny, yeah, with your big rump. All right, let's get you here, and we'll just sort of have like a V formation. With that being said, though, um, if you remember the end of the second boss fight, we had something similar. Um, I can't reach those guys up on the stage. Um, once we defeated the giant glacier monster at the, the end of the second world, we had the slide attack and to fully finish him off. I don't think we need the slide attack on this. Oh my gosh, that was not fun. But now that Rabbit Luigi's out in the open, I guess we could use. Oh him to try to attack this light if we can, because we can't use weapons. It wasn't really offering that, unless we need to angle our weapons out so that, you know, like Peach Baby would try to blast somebody, but she instead blasts the weapon of the light or whatever. And, okay, luckily he missed, but he did destroy that, which is not good. Everybody's moved though, so it's our turn. Can she slide attack this? She can, okay, that's all I wanted to see, really. Um, Then we should probably have Rabbit Luigi do it. That way he can actually, ooh, actually, yeah, he can do a number of things here. He can slide attack you, slide attack you. <laughs> Imbecile, okay, rude. Not anything else, he's a rude dude, so boom. So now we can attack him. Yeah, look at him, he's got his belly exposed. Now we can cheat him, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so I guess he really is the Phantom of the Opera, huh? <laughs> Okay, so it's important that we attack him soon, but if we have these enemies around, they're gonna be a problem for us. Hmm. I mean, there is a defense going on, so if I attack you, does it hurt him at all? I don't think so, but if we do the other way around, it will. Hmm, I wish Mario could come out this far, that way he could hop off a of rabbit Luigi and maybe land on this dude. Uh, let's do this. I don't know, I, because here's, oh, that was good, a critical, so it was definitely worth doing that, because he can't critical um bosses, as far as we've experienced. Let's get Mario out, where can he go? He can hop off of you, and he can't quite land on you, that stinks, that really stinks. Okay, well maybe uh, Peach can get something done with all that, but either way, these guys are gonna be persistent, they're gonna hurt us a lot. I mean, the boss can only attack seemingly one unit at a time. So we wanna use that fact to our advantage. Where does this bring us, by the way? Peach could go like that, go, whoa. Wait, no, no, I did that wrong, right? Um, Or did I? Hmm, what is, what is this little trap here? Oh, how much you wanna bet the light mechanism is gonna pop up somewhere else now. Let's go ahead and get Peach up here then, and maybe we'll get lucky and the light mechanism will hop up here. If not, Rabbit Luigi is on the left side. I can see that's where the uh, the little challenge comes in there. That's gonna hurt Mario, but I think it's worth it. It's not gonna hurt him much. He's a strong guy. I say that, but he, got, he died so much last episode. Oh no. Um. So I can't hammer, it's not gonna do anything. So we'll get this ready, I'm sure we'll use it, and then we can just try to blast this uh, Valkyrie. And once we get the Valkyries out of the way, we can focus more on the boss, and we get another critical, which is pretty good. Um, Should I damage reduce this one, dude? I don't think it's really that important, but we could get an immunity to super effects just in case he does try to attack us. Looks like there are a lot of different places his light can pop up. And we'll get this ready just in case we need it. I don't think it'll be too helpful with the position we're in. But she's, yeah, he's probably gonna attack Peach, right? Oh no, he's gonna attack Mario. Ouch. So right now he's still, you know, out in the open. Well, I'm gonna guess at the end of the enemy's turn here, and it's gonna end up being that. Oh, poor Mario. That um. Oh wow, no, I'm wrong. Interesting. I mean, not me being wrong. That happens all the time. <laughs> but the other stuff. Hmm, how do I wanna do this then? Maybe I could vamp attack you and like then get to a more defensive position or something, I'm not really sure. Well, this'll finish him off, which is great. So maybe this was a silly spot to be at. Um, but he did get some health back for it, so that's good. I don't know what he's singing. I don't know what he's saying, actually. Okay, so then Mario can, wow, he can come all the way around here. I wish we could. I guess there's no worth in doing that, huh? Well, I mean, the only hope would be then instead of doing that, I can hop off of him, finish this dude off, land here and hammer him. 
That might be good. And then we can potentially power boost even Rabbit Luigi and Marion. Well, we didn't, neither Peach or Mario used their hero sight, so that was definitely uh, something that was a mistake. Mario time it is. Let's go ahead and blast him. Yeah, but today's goal in today's episode, of course, we'll be finishing World 3, then we'll be going back through it. We critical Rabbit, that was actually really bad. He's really low right now. I'm gonna guess he has more than one phase. I think we gotta take him out like this, and then he's gonna have more lights pop up, and we're gonna have to deal with it that way, if that makes any sense. Let's go all out like that. Could we blast him from here? We could. And this will probably, like I said, it'll um, make him pop up more lights. But yeah, we're gonna be finishing this and then we're gonna go and go back through World 3, try to perfect everything, see how that works out. That'll be today's episode's goal. Yep, I was right, okay. So in that way, it almost works similarly to the Rabbit Kong in the way that we have to prevent him from doing something like eating the bananas, but in this case it's you know being invulnerable. So we're gonna we're gonna die here, aren't we? Critical, but not quite death. Not quite death. The problem is that we are probably gonna die very soon. Like it's it, it feels like an inevitability right now. If we could get some vamp damage out. Oh no, they're gonna pop up this turn. Please don't move. Okay, so they didn't attack this turn. The problem is Rabbit Luigi's not gonna be able to reach any of them. And they are in actually not very pretty spots. So I'm gonna have Rabbit Luigi hide like here. And while we're doing that is that hopefully we can get Peach over. Wow, she can't reach over there? I think we've messed up. I think I'm definitely gonna have to redo this boss fight because I don't understand why I have like this little strip I can go up here and, hmm, cause I don't see how I'm gonna get over there and protect those two. And if I can't, then maybe I should let go of the dream of doing, yeah, I think we gotta, we gotta restart, but we got the idea of the boss fight. We definitely got an idea of it, but we got put in a, a difficult spot there. And and I wasn't really knowing what to expect, so we can skip this really long, but also very awesome cutscene. <sighs> Imbecile. I need tea. I wanna drink some tea. Ah, good tea. English breakfast. Okay, so we we know what to do. We just gotta figure out the best way to do it. And I think, with that being said, nobody can get around to there properly right now. So we might as well like hide back here. And then same thing for Peach. You know, she can hop off of Mario, do it a fancy way if she wants. But no need to attack him right now because it's simply just not gonna do anything effective. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. Don't wanna waste any hero sites that might not end up being actually used. Please miss. Well, he's not gonna miss because it's like a splash damage kind of thing, but it didn't do much. It did 34 damage, which really ain't too much. The only problem is that I should have hit him behind a metal block because he's gonna get guaranteed hit by this Valkyrie, and that's gonna lose him a good chunk of health. Luckily for Rabbit Luigi, he can vamp that back, but uh, in the meantime, I'm taking a bit of a beating. But once again, they missed, okay. Pretty similar happenings to last time, so we can see our opportunities. Um, hmm. I could hop off Rabbit Luigi, but once again, just like last time, won't have too much of a uh, benefit for me right now. I mean, it could. Uh, once again, we should definitely focus on uh, taking out the uh, the Valkyries first, because they're gonna keep bashing on us, it's gonna hurt a lot. I mean, the boss can only hit one enemy at a time. So I could go ahead and have you go like this, and then you can't quite slide tackle this guy. But you could get up here. I don't really know if it'll benefit you all that much. I mean, hiding here, maybe? We can at least, like, here's the thing. If we're super close to the Valkyrie and we end up not being able to take him out this turn, he tries to blast Rabbit Luigi. He's also probably gonna blast his Valkyrie, too. Hmm. And then Peach is way over here. She can't do a ton, but she could go right in front of this guy and just give him a good blast, and that might be good. I mean, if that's the case, maybe I should have done it from a different angle. That way I could have, uh, I mean, I think that would have been inevitable. I would have hit some of our teammates there. So, boom, let's blast you. I think I might have Peach do her thing here. And that was a critical. That's actually really good. Um, So, should we do this? Yeah, sure. I don't think it'll be that bad. You over here, though, you're gonna power boost. Oh, well, actually, that's not. if that's not gonna affect Rabbit Luigi, I don't know if I do wanna do it here. We might just blast him normally. Maybe get a critical? We do get a critical, that's very good. And then, Rabbit Luigi, can you turn around and finish him off maybe? Nowhere close to finishing him off. But 
We can try it. Critical again. Wow, we're getting really lucky with the criticals right now. We can lower some, we can lower damage on both of them. Well, let's do that, it's definitely worth it then. And hopefully we'll be able to get this going that um, before the shield guys show up next, we can have hopefully have that back and ready. So that hurt a little bit. It also knocked Peach way farther back than I was expecting and hoping. Wait, what is he doing? I don't know, he's doing something, but you're gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Another critical. I don't know what's with the critical chance here. If it's anything special that I'm like overlooking. What are these? Oh, he didn't have these last time. Hmm, odd. All right, I, I wanna land here though and definitely smack him with that hammer attack. Stone. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, what's that gonna do? I don't know. Oh, it stoned him. Can he do anything? Can you move at all when you're stoned? Mario, can I switch to Mario? I can't even switch to Mario. So that's actually really bad news. Because I was about to go ahead and, you know, damage boost, hammer, all that kind of stuff. Well then maybe Rabbit Luigi, could he hop off of Mario even though, he actually can. I find that really funny. Okay, sorry Mario. <laughs> He can move it up to do that. Oh, and it clears him! I forgot we had that, that was a perfect strategy and I didn't even mean to. Unintentional perfect strategies are my favorite kind of perfect strategies. We're gonna land right here, heal both Peach, Rabbit, Luigi, and I think a little bit of Mario. So first off, before we do anything, Mario, you're gonna have to damage boost your friends here. Now you can use the hammer move, it'll hurt your friends a good number, so that is definitely a strategic mishap, but it's okay. Because boom, we can hit you for 173, another critical. Critical after critical is really fun. Um, this won't hit anybody except for the one you wanna hit. Boom, another critical for 240. All Rabbit Luigi needs to do is finish him off here. And that'll be the first phase done without any major damage taken. Which is way better than last time where we took all the damage in the world. We gotta take care of two lights this time. And we're not in the perfect position to do that. Another problem here, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. And then as Peach, maybe I could do some damage reduction because we're gonna get hit here. We are definitely gonna get hit. We might as well be a little bit more prepared for it. He's gonna blast one of us and most likely hit all of us. So 17 to 16 damage each, not that big of a deal. It actually put Peach in a better position to take care of that light up there. So honestly, I'm not complaining. I definitely am not complaining. So I think I wanna go ahead and Slide tackle, I, I mean, I can only slide tackle one enemy. So I really wanna make the most of this, so maybe I'll slide tackle you. Go like this. Get rid, I can't, oh, I can't slide, even if it's just not an enemy. So I can't do that. I need to slide tackle this, go through this pipe, land here, and definitely be able to just ruin this dude's day. Hopefully, uh, Mario and the gang can deal with the rest of it pretty well. The other light is right over here. So how do I wanna deal with that? Where's Rabbit Luigi? Rabbit Luigi's a little far off for what I wanna do, but we don't have anything to lose by blasting this guy. Maybe it'll even be another critical. It won't, finally a non-critical, and it's in a situation where I probably gonna really use a critical. So Mario can't slide attack more than one enemy right now. So do I, where's Rabbit Luigi? What can he reach from here? Not much, not much at all. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. Mm -mm, I don't like it one bit. Mm -mm. I mean, if that's the case, I'll rather have him. I mean, oh, hard to decide. How far can Mario run? Mario can't run to him from here. He'd have to come at least right here. If that's the case, oof, it's so hard to decide because there's a lot of these smashers to attack right now. I might as well slide tackle you just for some free damage. Get you here and and I think that Mario can jump off of him, land on the uh, shield dude. I really hope. If not, I'm gonna be a little flustered. 160 damage, I always forget how much damage it does. Okay, so, can we jump off of, oh we can't. That just seems weird. I don't know, there's something I don't like about that. Well, maybe next turn, but for right now we could hammer him for a good amount. He's available to hit now, but once again, if we don't take care of these guys, it's gonna hurt. So boom, we're gonna smash you good. Tons of damage, it even, even, yeah, it even hit him a little bit, that's fantastic. And then we'll get this ready so that if you try to move, you try to pull any moves on me, I'm gonna blast you, blast you good. And then, you know, once again, I need to, we could do that, 
But I don't think we need to. I'd rather focus on him. Ready for it? Hey, catch! Boom, 71 damage. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, and he got some health back for that. I don't even know if he needed the health, but once again, 40 damage. He's getting a little more powerful with each passing turn, but wait, why? He turned around now. Ooh, that hurt. But this time, this time he makes the most of it. Okay, that's good. Now these guys are gonna move around. They're gonna go on the pipe and get a height advantage. Ooh, that's actually really nasty. That is really nasty, because even though it's not like a ledge he's falling off of, that counts as out of bounds, and I gotta say, that's sort of bogus. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, that's just rude. Well, you can't do anything. Ooh, Peach is gonna destroy those two. Watch this. Watch this right here. Who has more health? You have more health. Peach is sick of the both of you. She's gonna blast you. <laughs> You're gonna be blast the smithereens. You don't mess with this, this princess. You don't do it. Because she could just go ahead and ruin both of their days. And still hit him. Ooh, that is so beautiful. They set themselves up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the only thing is that we aren't getting any heals out of this because of it, and Mario is pretty low on health. But maybe if we strategically set things up for later, maybe Rabbit Luigi can uh, end up dashing somebody so that we can get the vamp on them. That would be good. Because Rabbit Luigi is definitely the best on health right now. I'm gonna have him hide here. I'm gonna have Mario. He doesn't have ability to damage boost right now. So instead, we'll have him blast him, and that should finish him off. We're doing pretty good. Yeah, there we go, there's a critical. So he's gonna get mad, he's gonna go over here, which I expected. That was an expected move. But that probably means I shouldn't have used Rabbit Luigi. Oh, what's happening? Oh, oh, oh cutscene. Who do you think you are? You should need of the star. You are nothing but a party. I find your good role in a tragedy. <laughs> it's a me that's go, the only word you know. My heart will touch your princess's heart, and you will be good apart. No! You think you will be tournament? I send you to retirement. You saw not worth the hustle. Your princess is in another castle. Mushrooms won't end the pain. Time for the first time to start his reign. What a what a performance! I mean, he might be an awful fighter, but he, he's a lover of the performance arts, you know. Oh, I, that is so dumb. That is really stinking. I'm gonna get him up here and there's no enemies yet to spawn in, but they're gonna spawn in soon. I mean, as long as they don't move on the turn they spawn in, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's sort of wishy-washy. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish the turn. I mean, if Mario gets blasted here, he sh he might actually get hurt. Maybe I should've thought about that. Oh, he's gonna damage Rabbit Luigi instead though. It was, once again, I don't like how that works. I don't think that's fair. I mean, obviously there's a sh there's a stage back there. What is even happening? Oh, oh, hey, peekaboos, please don't move this turn. Okay, heroes move, that is fantastic. What do I, how do I wanna do this? I wish there was a way to plop down here. It is difficult to move around this map. I feel like the map and the enemies are more of a challenge than the actual boss, which is just a shame. So really, I wanna blast you first. I, I need to, I need to blast you first. If I could take care of a peekaboo right now, that'd be really good. And I did, I actually didn't even need to use my side attack that I was planning on using there. Mario, though, is in a bit of a worse situation. A little bit more worse for wear. What I could do is have him do that, really simple, and then hope that a hammer attack, we gotta get lucky here, we gotta get real lucky. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. That's the luck I'm trying to talk about right there. Mm-mm. Okay. So Rabbit Luigi can tackle this one though. That's not a big deal. Mario's gonna have to look into um doing something. I'm gonna honestly I might just have Rabbit Luigi go all up in his face because he has the most health right now. I need him to really do that. Okay, so Peach, you're gonna go down here and just start making your way over. I mean, what more can you do? What more is a princess to do in a situation like this? I'm not really sure. But next turn, we can really get something wild going on here. But for now, uh, that's all we got. 
So this is a pretty tough boss, but like I said, it's not the tough like we're used to. Okay, that's in 70 damage. Oh no, this is bad. Okay, so how can we get Princess Peach to Mario to heal him here? Is it even possible? Actually, the pipes are way shorter here. The problem is like, even then, even then, I think that our best bet, like, I don't know what our best bet is. I think we need to damage boost Rabbit Luigi if we can, but we can't from here. Oh, this is tough. This is a really tough call to make. Like if I put, where's the farthest? Peach can't even go that far though. All right, let's see how far Mario can go. He can go through this pipe. I mean, they both actually exit and basically, and I still won't be able to reach. Wow, what do I do here? Mario but just might guaranteed be taken out here. And I don't know if there's a darn thing I could do about it. Cause I had them two separated, which is the whole theme of the darn map. And there's the stone, so he is stuck right there. And I can't get Rabbit Luigi over there just yet. I think we're done for it. And that's super frustrating, cause we're right there. And like, it doesn't even feel like I'm doing anything wrong exactly. It just feels like I just sort of got bad luck, which is super stinky. The only thing that could really balance this out is that if I get really good luck by him not attacking Mario, but why wouldn't he? Yeah, see, it's obvious that he would attack Mario. But what more could I have done there? Not gotten unlucky? Because <laughs> like, obviously I understand positioning is really important for this map, but how am I supposed to be expected to have good positioning and also maneuver around this map that has, you know, tons of different situations being thrown at me? I don't know, it's a really tough map. Cause like, this guy takes not that much damage. I just, maybe it would've been better with Rapid Peach, but I mean, everything else, I mean, Peach has been so helpful for everything else. All right, well, we gotta do it without any damage boost. All right. Let's do that. And then Peach can come over and blast him as much as she can. I mean, that's really all we can do too much. Uh, can I get this on, e on each other? That's good. And then I'll do this and that'll be helpful. And come on, can we get a critical? Boom, 155 damage. So next turn I think we could win, depending on what he does. But I don't think he's gonna be able to do too much more. Oh, oh, interesting. So his big rump gets in the way. I don't like that. Oh, and now, uh, thanks. Could have used that a little while ago. Oh, that is frustrating. Now she's over next to Mario when it's way too late. Okay. We need Princess Peach to be closer. We don't really need Rabbit Luigi to be very close. So we'll have Rabbit Luigi right here. Princess Peach will bounce off of him. Unless, you know, strategically that's not as beneficial. I mean, it is because she does not move very far. All right, and then we'll just have her here. And that should be in the red, right? Can only hope. Just about, we'll be able to finish him off here. Not here per se, but like grab Luigi, you should be able to attack him, finish him off, and the boss fight will be over so close to being perfected. <laughs> you better cry, buddy. You better weep. <laughs> okay, this is becoming a little bit more of a comedy act now. <laughs> he snorted. Is he dead? Oh, what a dramatic ending. What a twist. A battle cleared. I don't wanna see you cheering at all, Mario, cause you could have hanged on a little bit longer, couldn't you? I need to stay away from that backstage cause I got knocked out of bounds like five times as Mario. That was ridiculous. We do get still 2,600 coins, 35 power orbs, and now we get to go through all of World 3 again to try to master it. Uh, team rank up, your hero's health has increased, which is great. New weapons in stock. There are new weapons available for purchase at the Battle HQ. Spooky Trails challenges, ex explore spooky trails from scratch and find all the 10 rabbit challengers. Complete challenges to gain more power orbs. Smash, you have smash. With this contextual action, you can destroy stone blocks and access new locations. Good. Now we get to go back and do some of my least favorite levels in the game so far. <laughs> okay, we'll make it work. We'll make it work indeed. We got plenty of coins, so we, we got a lot of options. Let's go here and let's see what we can do. Weapon selection, there's gonna be new weapons available, which is great. Who really needs them out of this group is gonna be Rabbit Luigi. Um, 
definitely, it's a huge upgrade from, uh, no, that's not what I wanted, from 80 to 90, 130 to 140. So bosses like the one we just did, gonna be much easier to deal with. We'll try burn damage. Okay, secondary, can we, we can improve a secondary as well. By once again, a decent damage margin. If we already had the fire there, we'll do push damage here. That should be good. Now Peach, she also has some increased stuff that I, you know, just purchased, uh, but that's fine. I actually can't afford too much of it right now. Can I afford any of the Mario ones? No. Yeah, it's all 1400. So I'm holding on to my cash for now, but we do have some points. So Mario, once again, we can upgrade his things or whatever. And I might wait until 60 points for him. For Abba Luigi, uh, definitely I wanna upgrade this because it's so helpful having that increased percentage. Um, Now for Peach, maybe we'll just wait until, uh, I wish she could get more than one dash, which she cannot. So maybe we should wait for this. The healing range, put it to uh, four cells. That might be the most helpful one. In the meantime, can she afford this? She can't, that's 16. Okay, that's all we can do. If it's all we can do, it's all we're doing. Uh, we're gonna go back into world three and hopefully we'll be more prepared for the challenges brought throughout us. I mean, I think that with that being, like all this, the world three now being technically completed, we had the easiest time with the setup we have right now, which is Mario, Rabbit, Luigi, and Peach. You guys are definitely right that Rabbit Luigi is a very strong character. And so I don't need to care about this world, that world, even though I do need to actually perfect this battle. We'll do that next episode because we'll do the world two challenges next episode. And I'll go back and do this one as well because we're definitely more than prepared for that. So which ones do I need to do? Three one, three two, three three, three four, all perfect. Three five is when we started running into some major issues. We needed to do that in five turns. Everything else we did fine, but the mid boss needed to be defeated in five turns. So now that we're slightly more powerful and have a better idea of what we want to do for this mid boss, maybe we can get it completed in five turns. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'm feeling pretty good today. I feel I feel really bad. Like I haven't posted it yet. But previous episode, episode 11, I do feel really bad because I, I was obviously, you know, getting a little upset with the game. I feel the game was being total malarkey at times, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, I remember all this and we had all these cool moves that we did that didn't really work out for us. Oh, that was a shame. Okay, so, first off, we're power boosting everything. I think we'll start with the same strategy. If we can take care of these three guys first, I think that'd be really good. Um... Maybe we'll have Mario here, because you know we get 100% chance on the Smasher, which would be great. But it would also sort of be a bad idea, because we could have gotten 150 damage. Okay, yeah, we might want to restart already. <laughs> but I was in awful mood. I just, I don't know, I've been really low on energy recently, but I've been pushing myself really hard to have that energy that I don't have. I don't know, but feeling better today. I've, I've been taking vitamin D supplements, and that has been helping. So maybe it was something related to that, or maybe it wasn't, and it's totally placebo. I don't know, but all I know is that I feel better, and I think that's the most important thing, right? As long as you feel good at the end of the day and you ain't hurting nobody, I think that's the best life you can live. Okay, so, with all that being said, I mean, maybe I just put Rabbit Luigi in a really nasty spot. I wanted to put Mario, like, here. That seems like a fun spot, because that, or no, here would be fine, because then he can have security from the boss and still not be hit by Peach's move, which I think Rapid Luigi will now be hit by, but we can get some vamp damage next time. So, Peach, go here, go here, and oh yeah, now I remember what we do, is that, will this hit Mario then? I wanna get the positioning just right. It actually will hit both, hmm. Okay, so I might restart this an additional time. I'm trying to get it right though, I know, but sometimes it really does take trial and error. Let's try that one more time then. Skip the cutscene. Just get ready for it. Where can I put the characters that really works a bit better? I mean, first off, maybe I should uh, always uh, power boost. Because we can take care of the Smasher. Definitely turn one here. Rabbit Luigi needs to be somewhere a little bit smarter. I would think that'd be on this end of the spectrum then. So let's go ahead and get you here. He just can't, he can't spin, he can't dash anybody here no matter what. The problem with that is now Peach can't, actually no, okay, so that's also that, man! You just always have to make some kind of ridiculous sacrifice in this game, don't you? <laughs> okay, one more time, we got it this time, and if I mess it up this time, I'll cut out until we got it right, but 
I mean, it's a part of the experience. I know some of you have told me that you're watching this uh, series for entertainment. Some of you have told me you're watching it as a guide. You get stuck on some levels. You want to try to find out how to master it. You watch the B for whatever reason. I'm not very good at the game. Disclaimer. But <laughs> if that's what you want, it's what you get. Okay, first off, let's not forget. Power boost everybody. Then, if Rabbit Luigi goes right here and he should not be hit by Peach's Blast, and, I mean, yeah, I really hope he's not hit by Peach's Blast. And he should be able to uh, be a launch pad for everybody else. So first off, you're gonna go like that, you're gonna go like this, and then you're gonna hide here. You might get blasted by the mid boss, but I mean, if that's the case, let's hide you here. Definitely not gonna get hit from there. Boom, boom. That's pretty good. And then we move Peach over like this, and then like that. And then we activate this move, and then we, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do it, all right. Boom, hit you like this. And it was a critical, which is, okay, okay, that, he still moves, so it's fine. Ready, boom, hit you again. So the only problem now is that this uh, peekaboo in the end there has not gotten taken out, but that is fine, because, can Rabbit Luigi hit him? No, there is, um, well, he can with this. Interesting, so we'll do that, because that'll be, just good. <laughs> so let's do that. Just getting some early damage on him. So this is turn one, 122 damage. Holy cow, I wasn't expecting that much. We can't hit you from here. So take care of the only peekaboo that's gonna give us an issue. And it's a critical, a power boosted critical is insane. And that's good, that's a good turn one if you ask me. We can't do anything more. So we might as well just move on. And I'm definitely, I think, I, I mean, Maybe I'm going about it wrong. Maybe I actually don't need the power boost to get that amount of damage out, but I think I do. I have a feeling I do. Let's pick up all these coins. Cause you know what, if I do really mess this up, maybe I could get some of these coins to give me an upgrade. Okay. Then, I wanna get Rabbit Luigi closer, but there's only so much closer he can get right now. So we'll have him literally as close as he can get. Cause I don't know if fam damage works on bosses, but we should have him prepared for in case it does. Peach can reach him. Mario can reach him, which is good, because that's what I wanted. I wanted Mario to get here, and then have him hide behind. I don't think there would be any problem with that, so let's, or maybe I could do here and do the hammer damage. The only problem is that Rabbit Luigi will be hurt by that. But once again, Rabbit Luigi is probably our most self-sustaining character because of that vamp. So we could activate this, and if he tries to do anything funny, Mario will blast him. Do this, this will indeed hurt, but maybe we could get a heal from a... Peach, but already that is a ton of damage. That really hurt Rabbit Luigi, though. So, how do I want to do this then? I could just have her go here. The problem is if if she's here though, she can actually heal Mario, but uh, <laughs> and Rabbit Luigi at the same time. The problem. Oh no, she. Okay, I was gonna say she'll hit Mario, but she doesn't. Do it. Ooh. Boom. 154 damage. Good start. Definitely way better than the first time. We'll do this since we're all bunched up. And then really, what more can be done? I mean, I could try blasting him, but I don't want to do too much. We can reduce his damage, so we might as well. And then we are good to finish off this turn. What are the enemies gonna do? He's gonna scare everybody off, but honestly, that just gives me more opportunity to set up again. There are still no enemies spawning in here, and we are definitely doing better this time. So, they're getting ready though, so we gotta be prepared for this. Because I could, as... First off, Rabbit Luigi, blast him with, I mean, which would do more damage? This won't hit him at all. I can, can I slide tackle him? Oh wow, look at that, you can slide tackle him. I feel like some bosses you can, some bosses you can't. Do that first, yeah, before we do anything else. He does get health back for that, fantastic, plus 80 health, that is crazy, 160 damage for that tune. I don't know which will do more damage at this point. Well, this is 130 to 140, so let's do this one. Boom, and it's a critical, so wow, he does get affected by burning. Some of them are immune to certain effects, but not all of them. Okay, so, oh yeah, that's right, he's not holding Rabbit Yoshi anymore, because he doesn't have Rabbit Yoshi anymore. That's a nice touch. <laughs> that's funny, I like that. So, I think, well really, in all technicality, we could have Peach ta or Slide attack him, blast him, and I think we could win this boss right here on turn three, I think. The only problem is that his shield is facing us. Oh no, it'll still do it. 
I don't know why he's available to be hit here and not before, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about it. We won, that was a perfect. Okay, we can skip this, we've already seen it. Battle cleared, definitely a perfect with two turns left over. Good start, good start indeed. So now we're gonna move on over to the next level. You can see that we're well prepared for this now. Now we can't expect to get any more um, orbs, but we can get more coins, which is great because we can actually already get a new blaster for say, Mario. And maybe that'll be good? We'll check it out and we'll find out. But I'm actually liking our team combo. I think we might stick for this with this one for a good while. So this one right here, we didn't do good at all on 3-6. We got a fair and a good. So let's try this again. Maybe we can get a perfect, perfect. That's, you know, in a perfect world, that's what I'd want. Okay, so this is the one we got a, a fair on. I think this was like one of our least, like our worst scores yet for a battle. So before we get started, I definitely want to go into our battle HQ and try to figure a couple things out. I know, I know. We've we've faced a number of them now. Let's go to battle HQ. I think I will upgrade Marion. So he has up to now, he has a 105, 115. He can go to a 155, 165. It could be honey or bounce. We're gonna do honey. I'm just doing it. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> Uh, and then we can upgrade his hammer soon enough. And I think the same thing with Peach is that we can upgrade some of her stuff. But when it comes to Rabid Luigi, we've got him nice and upgraded. So we'll finish off with that for now because it's really all we can do. And get a good scope of everything. We have one here. We have a couple over here. I think really what I might do, start with the damage boost as we always do, right? Um, I can have Rabid Luigi hide about here. He could probably blast this guy or that guy with his rocket launcher. Mario can then hop off Rabbit Luigi, land on this dude, and then land around here, and that might be good. These guys we're just gonna ignore for now. I mean, maybe we should focus on those guys first. I just feel like this has more strategic advantages for it. So we'll fight, and we'll see how that works out. So first off, damage boost everybody. Uh, Now, Rabbit Luigi, move here. Let's see if this can actually properly reach. It can reach that guy and this guy. Hmm. Which one do we wanna take out then? I mean, I think this guy? Boom, oh no! Okay, that messes up a bunch of my strategy. <laughs> Okay, well maybe we can do something a little different here. Before we throw in the towel and try again. Uh, I could get Peach hiding here. She can throw her rubber ducky over. And then Mario, you could, uh, no, no, you're not doing that. I could do that, but would be better for our situation is to do this. That way it definitely takes him out, boom. Okay, the only problem now is that Mario might not land this shot, which would stink. It would stink a big old bunch, but we'll try it. Come on, land it, land it, land it. Yeah, nice landing. Okay, so. Peach, you're over here. You could throw that rubber ducky. You could throw it over here. Let's try to take this dude out. If we can take care of two of them right away, that'd be the best situation. But it didn't really do too much. I think we sort of technically messed that up. So let's go ahead and get this ready. Unless they go through the pipe and then it ends up blasting Mario, this should be okay. But I think they're, yeah, they're gonna come around this way. So Peach can do a full 180 and blast this dude. I wish she would wait until he got a little closer, but she is technically still damage boosted for some free damage. It's not anything crazy. She's gonna, he's gonna return the, the favor to Peach, but hey, getting a little too close for comfort maybe. And now there's this one. Oh boy. Everybody doesn't like Peach. Poor Peach. She doesn't deserve this. She's an angel. <laughs> she's fighting the good fight. You know, she's being a nice person. This is what she gets. Okay, can you, can you stop? That's ridiculous. Ugh. Okay, Rabbit Luigi, you're gonna have to do some overtime here to make up for all that. Get you all over here, and, and then we're gonna blast this dude. We're gonna make him regret any decision he ever made. I just wish we could have, uh, I mean, I guess we could still. I could get you over like this, jump off Rabbit Luigi, land about here. I mean, I could land here and that also heal Mario, right? No, I want it, actually, okay. I wish we could get a little bit closer. Is this 100%? None of this will be 100%, okay. Well, then I might as well do it from here. And if he's vamped, right? So if we hit him as Peach, wouldn't that, 
if she does land it, which she does, would that, yeah, that will heal her a little bit. So that's all we really need there. Uh, Mario, my main man, let's try to figure out you before we make uh, Peach do anything, or Rabbit Luigi. Oh man, I wish I could reach that. All right, that's because he has 240 health. If I uh, slide tackled him, went through here, is there anybody really take out here? Not really. So maybe it'd be easier to stay on this one platform. I wish I could end up landing over here, but I did what I could. So we're gonna get you here, boom. And then if this guy over here does try to make a move, which he probably will, I can hero sight him. And now it's just up to uh, Rabbit Luigi and Mario here to lay the beat down on this guy. Boom, 162 damage, and then Rabbit Luigi. Gotta return the favor, play a little bit of hot potato, boom, and of course he burns his teammates. Oh no, did he burn Mario? No, he burned Rabbit, he burned himself though. Great great job. But hey, it was a golden shot. Uh, that's all we can really do. He's gonna blast Mario, that's really not that big of a deal. Let's see if he ends up moving here, because if he does, Mario can hit him back, and it was a critical, so that, could be good, could be sort of mediocre. Can you make your way? Okay, yeah, we can get a win right here then. Depending on where this pipe leads, actually. Yeah, it leads right there. I think we're gonna be able to get a win out of that. Unless I'm uh not doing this correctly. I wish Peach could have a double team jump. That'd be so helpful. Only Luigi has that so far. I mean, I guess it's just his specific move. I mean, that makes sense, but it's just, which that wasn't the case because I could really have other, like I could really make good use out of other characters having it. But it looks like we're gonna get a perfect tier unless we didn't reach the turn par, but I think we did. So let's hop off of here, boom. So another interesting Nintendo news, I mean you guys will know by the time this video goes out, but I'm recording this on the same day as the Nintendo Direct, um, September 13th Nintendo Direct. And a lot of people are saying they're excited for this because it's apparently on the same day that Smash Brothers 4 released on the, 3DS, and I'm like, what is, it? I'm a little confused by that. They're making an announcement on the same day that that released, but this is an announcement, like, I, I don't know, that one sort of feels like it's a bit of a stretch, so I'm, I'm not holding on to it too much. But a lot of people are saying that Nintendo has confirmed that there will be titles coming in 2017 that they have yet to announce. Apparently, I haven't seen that specifically quoted from anywhere, so I don't know where they're getting it from, but if that's the case, exciting, because I can't wait to see what they announce, if they announce anything, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm expecting updates on already announced stuff. I think that that's probably the most likely thing that's gonna happen. Oh wow, that's really good. That is really good. You can tell how much, how much stronger we're, we're getting here. Wow, look at us! Look at the Ziggy, what, what's a Ziggy? Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, tackle that many people, but that's fine. Holy cow, that is so fine. That is so good. But, uh. What I'm expecting, so I don't get disappointed or too excited for something that might be foolish to get excited for, is I'm expecting updates on current games. You know, hopefully an update on the new Kirby game. I think right now, of course, Mario Odyssey, I'm super excited for. But beyond that, the game I'm most excited for for the Switch that hasn't released yet would probably be the new Kirby game. At least, let's, let's keep it the Switch exclusives. Probably the new Kirby game. I'm really, really excited for that. I hope it's a lot of fun. And we should get Mario to move first. Uh, Cause Mario could go through here and go through here and slide tackle him, jump off of you, land off of you. Wow, we are getting all the combos. We sure we're playing Mario and Rabbids and not Street Fighter? <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping for updates on already confirmed games, the new Kirby game, the new Yoshi game, maybe some Pokemon info. I know Pokemon Tournament releases on Switch some point this month. I'm sure that will ha have some kind of information on it. There's just a lot of games coming that have already been confirmed, so I wouldn't assume that this point in the year and we would get something like that, but maybe I'm wrong. And I'd love to be wrong in this situation, you know? Uh, where can I land that's both good for uh, not getting hurt? I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe that was a bit of a bad idea. Maybe I should have made Peach a little bit more exposed, but because then she could really smack down on the, uh, the bouncer here. And, but anyways, Mario, isn't gonna lose anything by damage boosting everybody here. But in a perfect world, I don't know why I keep using that kind of speaking today. Oh wow, that does a lot. Oh, that does a whole bunch. If we get lucky, that might even take him out entirely. No, not quite lucky. Not quite lucky. That's gonna hurt too. That sinks. That's fine though, that's fine. We can make it work, because we could finish him off like that. 
Let's do it, shouldn't it be a problem? Oh, but of course it burns Marion. I mean, maybe Mario will land somewhere a little bit more defensive. I don't think the uh, Ziggy's gonna be able to hit him from there. Okay, Peach, can you even hit this dude? Was that a silly thing to do? Oh, let's just do this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we'll definitely be winning this. We are destroying it so far. The extra tackle damage is really making the difference. Let's uh, pass the turn on to the enemies. And uh, the boos are moving, okay. I was like, what is happening? Why is the screen so far out? Hmm. But yeah, like if I was like, you know, full on, totally just throw all caution to the wind, what would be the coolest thing to be announced tonight? I think it's at 6 p.m. It's like 2 p.m. as we're recording this. I would say Mario Party, more Mario side titles. Even though like part of me like wants to say like new Super Mario Bros. Switch would be cool. I think a lot of people would hate that. I didn't even realize it was a Valkyrie over there. So actually a huge mistake by me. But we're making it work. We are making this work. I thought it was just the one Valkyrie and the one Ziggy, but not quite. Okay, let's destroy some dudes. Cause we can, we definitely can. Peach can't do too much right now, but Mario could not do that. Um, We need Rabbit Luigi to side tackle these guys because it'll do so much damage and it'll be so useful. Then we can have him go through here and not do much. We're not gonna do that. Instead, we'll have him just hang out over here and we can just blast this dude. I can't land over here. I guess because I'd have to walk through that guy, then I'll land here. But a new Super Mario Bros. Switch would be weird, and I think most people would absolutely hate it. Oh, come on. Um, and as a gamer, I don't really want a new Super Mario Bros. Switch because it would just probably be the same thing again. But as a YouTuber, Mario, new Super Mario Bros. games are some of the most fun ones because they're just so simple. Like, they're enjoyably simple. Okay, Peach, I'm just gonna have you run up on this dude, I think from like here. Like this dude ain't making any moves on us. And then maybe Mario could, I don't know if that'll clear Peach, but I sure hope it does. It does, nice, okay. I'm glad we have that move, it's super helpful. It's starting to get more and, help, more, and more helpful the, the more I realize I have it. The problem here is that this won't take him out. We'll try it, boom! And then we'll do this. I mean, I think I'll have Peach actually. Oh, I guess I don't have too much of a choice, do I? This would hurt Mario a whole lot less, so we'll do this one. Okay, glad that wasn't a critical. <laughs> but um, other games, a new Mario Party would be incredibly exciting. Um, any kind of Mario sports game would be really fun. I mean, more than anything, I know those kind of games are coming, right? I know there's probably gonna be a new Mario Tennis. I know there's gonna be eventually a new Mario Party. I get these things are on their way. Ouch. You know what I'm truly, truly hyped for? Is Virtual Console. Like, I just want every major Nintendo game that's ever released to just be available at my hoof tips. You know, just to play whenever I want. That would be the best situation possible, in my opinion, for the Nintendo Switch. Like that right there, I, that would sell a lot of consoles on its own. I mean, I know they're making like a billion, jillion dollars right now off of Super Nintendo, Nintendo Classic, plug it into your TV and we'll charge you a bunch of money for it. <laughs> and you know, if that's your thing, awesome. I'm glad you have that if you do and you enjoy it. But I feel like it's sort of like a fad product and I think it'll die out in two or three years from now. They're going to need the virtual console. And I hope they do, but either way, we got that perfect, pretty good perfect there. And I'm sort of like zoning out, talking about a bunch of stuff just because I think we're used to the, the ebb and flow. Is that, is that a word? Is that a saying? Maybe. I think we've gotten used to, you know, how this game acts, so I don't need to like speak about my every single movement, at least when we're redoing levels. But yeah, that's sort of my thoughts. I mean, I really don't know what's gonna happen tonight if there's gonna be anything crazy or if it's gonna be really dismissible. But I can tell you one thing, if Smash isn't confirmed, everyone will complain because people just assume, like, I don't know, people like find these little tiny things to connect the dots that they just think it's guaranteed because they made a connection to like, oh, there's one in Nintendo employee that gets paid $5 an hour said something on Twitter and it's just like, <laughs> sometimes it means something, sometimes it just doesn't. I don't know, I think people will get so invested in it. And I get it, 
because, you know, like, I get invested in, you know, upcoming announcements. I really want Plants vs. Zombies to be announced. And it, I think it's totally fun to speculate that kind of stuff. I think it's totally fun to get excited. But your response on if it works out or not is really what determines, you know, if it's a good thing or not. Okay. This area still really <laughs> scares me because I didn't do so well with it last time. I don't think I'm gonna do so well with it this time. But if I could just let them get closer this turn, we could really make some stuff happen next turn. For now though, let's get everybody in hiding. Hmm. I just really wish I could bounce off of you and land over here, that'd be so helpful. But we'll just have you hide here. And hope that the enemies don't do anything too ferocious. Um, I wish I could throw that. I mean, at most, I think maybe Rabbit Luigi can land this, and it's worth doing, because it's free damage. So let's go ahead and do that. Catch. Boom, nice damage, actually. About 100 for one of them, and then 99, then 83 for the other, so that's pretty good. And Mario can't land anything, so we really can't do much more. I maybe could have done the Hero Sight for Mario. That might have actually been a decent idea, because he would have blasted that guy right there, I think. Oof, poor, oh, poor Peach. She didn't deserve that one. And these guys are moving closer, but not close enough to actually land anything. I know the game is gonna want us to take those guys out soon, but these Valkyries will destroy us so quick if we don't get rid of them as soon as possible. So the Valkyries I need to focus on right now, which is great because he's right here. Hmm. And these guys are all defensive, so we don't wanna, we don't wanna do anything we can't handle right now. I wish I could do a bit more about this, but I might just, uh, you know, wait here. Or maybe here. Maybe here. Boom, that's still 160 damage. That's a huge amount of damage. Can Peach catch up from here a little too far? Okay. Well, then we can have her here. I can have Mario slide tackle, jump off, land here, and try to get some stuff done. I mean, what more can he really do? He can damage boost people, because nobody's attacked yet, right? Nobody's used their actual attacks. So let's go ahead and damage boost everybody. It might get something done, it might not. Uh, Once again, I can slide tackle you, and what would get me farther? That brings me there. I think we want to land here. No matter what, I think right here's the best place to land for right now. The next turn, if we could, you know, get Rabbit Luigi to slide tackle all three of those, you know, shield guys, that would be really beneficial. First off, let's get Peach to, um, oof. Actually, yeah, Rabbit Luigi should take this guy out. Why did that have to be a burn? Why did that have to be? I should have expected that. The game wouldn't love me enough. Okay, can, can Peach still reach with this? Come on, that ruined so much of my strategy I was gonna do here. Oh, I hate burn so much. This is why I don't use it. If you like, why don't you use burn? It's it's bad. It's really bad. Ugh, like you have to do so much factoring just because it might ruin your day. Oh man. I mean, I don't think I had too much of a choice, but I'm definitely, I gotta stop picking up burn. Unless like there's like literally nothing else that is as good that I have available, I'm not picking up burn anymore. Cause it just, it messes me up every time. Please just don't take him out. Hit your own teammate. Yeah, sure, that's awesome. Oh, he's gonna take him out. Oh, it's so close. He has like 10 health left. Please don't attack Mario. We're so much stronger and we still can't handle this. I can't believe it. This this level, I feel like this level is almost poorly designed for where it is. It's not a bad level. It's not poorly designed in its essence, but the fact that it's just thrown in here where it just doesn't match up with the difficulty level of everything else we've tackled, and then it's the stuff over there after this is relatively not too bad. I feel like that shows how not well designed it is. Oh, okay, so now it's finally giving me the ability to jump over here. I just had to play as Rabbit Luigi to do it, which is really not the best character for it, but hey, I guess he's closer to being able to dash people next turn. Let's do that once again. We can hit everybody really good. Boom. I think we did more damage overall that time. And then we could even weaken two of them, which is really big. The only problem is that I'm still gonna get bounced off the field most likely. They were one block closer, that would work. Hmm. Mario really can't do much of anything here. And he could do his hero sight. We'll do the hero sight this time. See if that makes any big difference as well. Cause maybe one of them will team jump and it'll work out really well. 
We'll have to see though, we'll have to see. Because if this one like team jumps, I mean, it'll affect the the shield, which isn't any good, but at least it's one less shield to deal with. He's actually playing a little bit more defensively because of that. I mean, he's still trying to blast Rabbit Luigi here, but he didn't land a shot, which is like the most important thing. Okay, these guys are gonna do their thing that I can't really do much about now, but I don't want to because they're gonna get the de defensive anyways. Oh, okay. So the other guy's gonna be able to save his because of that, and I knew that was gonna happen. That was expected. The problem now is that I'm a little bit farther off from being able to do my slide tackle. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a single slide tackle now, which is awful, really awful. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do a single. I don't understand how that doesn't, but it really is looking like I can't. Where can Peach move to? Not many places, to be honest. I just don't know which way is a good way then. I mean, maybe it is to stay back and just hope they don't do anything too awful. But that's just quite the ridiculous thing to hope at this point. I could try to blast him. I can get a guaranteed blast on him, so I gotta do it. It's gonna be burning, which is good, because it does give us some opportunities here. If we can take care of just one Valkyrie, I think it'll make all the difference. So, we're gonna make you immune, or at least less resistant, or more resistant to those moves, because that would be good. So we could, hmm. Now it's you know deciding what we wanna do about this. Because I could do something like this, the problem is it isn't gonna help me get any closer to Rabbit Luigi who needs the heals. I mean, once again, how far can Peach move? She can move that far. So maybe that's just what I wanna do, is do that. And then as Peach, finish this guy off, hop as Mario over here. That's not too bad then, that could have been a worse situation. I think that Mario is probably gonna take a major beating here, regardless, but Maybe we can make something really proper work out. Like this would probably be the best move I can do here. Hmm. This would hurt the most amount of people. So I think we gotta do that. There we go. Damage is spread and of course reduced, but it's what we got, so it's what we're using. Now Mario can't do all too much here. He has a chance of hitting him, so we should try it, because if he does land it, oh, he couldn't. Oh well, oh well indeed. Let's finish off the turn. Hope this doesn't turn out too badly. He's gonna bounce over there, which ain't too bad. He hits, this. oh, Rabbit Luigi, please don't die on me, buddy. Or Mario, please don't die on me, Mario. Please, please, please. Oh, ho, 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 boy. And it's just really hard to avoid not being bounced off the, uh, the side of the map here. And, and you're gonna get me, Mario, ooh, that's lucky. It's not lucky, because he's not in a good position to really capitalize on anything, but it is lucky that he ain't dead. And once again, you can't slide tackle anybody. What use are you if you can't slide tackle anyone? Oh man, oh man indeed. I mean, really, if that's the case, maybe Rabbit Luigi really should just move back here. And... <sighs> But he can't, he needs to be able to do this. Cause if we're lucky, you know what? We're going for this, we're gonna explode that. It's gonna bounce everybody everywhere. Boom, that's something. Mario is in a worse predicament than ever. But maybe that's a good thing. How far can Peach move out? All the way to there. We can only hit one guy with this, but it's a guy to hit and that's good. Boom, that's gonna get a lot of his health back, which is good. Mario, I'll have you do stuff soon. Can this take him out? It will. Can this please land Peach over here? It can. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. The thing is, I'm thinking like, what if I don't have Peach do this so that sh you know it would heal Mario, but I just don't, I think that's a little too much and it won't end up helping as much as I'm thinking. Either way, we'll do this. It'll definitely heal Mario. 83 heal right there, that's pretty good. We'll have this protection going on. I think that'll be helpful. And then, see that, this right here, strategically, this is the best move I could have made. So I'm glad I made it. 
This won't be in the red, but it'll be something. 53 damage. Ain't knocking anybody's socks off, and now I realize I could have damage boosted, which is great. Who can I hit here? I can't hit you at this angle. Apparently that's 100% shot? I don't believe that. Okay, do it Mario. <laughs> Look at how low he land, or he just sits there. We should have damage boosted, we didn't, but I actually, I'm not quite done. Mario hasn't moved at all because of how defensive I've been making him. We could get something done here. Hmm, well I can't do that exactly. I could just, why can't I jump off of Yoon? Huh, I have no idea why I can't jump off of him. I have no clue why that is. Weird. And then, where can I get Mario that might be a little smarter? Honestly, I have no clue. Hmm. Like, here probably wouldn't be a good idea. But we're doing it, because what else can I do? Okay, boom, land off of you. At least get rid of one of the shield dudes. That's a great start. And that's it. That's really all we want to do. This bouncer over here is uh, shielding up. I don't think he can do too much. I mean, he... Okay, I was gonna say he could hop off of that guy, but he decided not to. Um, ouch, that hurt. And what are you, you're gonna blast? Okay, everybody's focusing, focusing on Rabbit Luigi, which is fine with me until we hit our own teammate. That could be the end. Oh, I'm the worst at this game of all time. Maybe we should get both Mario and Rabbit Luigi over here. Like maybe this is the big difference, the big difference maker right here. Because Mario might be able to land that. It's not worth damage boosting for, that's for sure. We'll do this for sure. Um, Rabbit Luigi, you can launch your rocket. Uh, hmm, we gotta, I think this will be good. Hitting in the middle should disperse the damage better than normal, right? Yeah, yeah, I actually had two damage numbers over 100, which is better than the last two times we did that. It shows you how much we're trying this level, if I can say that we've done this specific thing two times in a row now. And really, can this reach? This cannot reach. I think we can try to get lucky here, and we do get lucky. That's gonna be a big game changer. It won't finish him off, but it will make things a little bit different there. Mario gets it, oh, that, ugh. I hate how the best places to hide are also the worst places to hide. Blast him, Mario. It'll honey him, but that doesn't matter when you're shielded. These guys are moving here now, I guess to boost up this guy. Haven't seen them do that before. I don't like it, I don't like it one bit. Luckily, he didn't, he didn't get bounced there. Mario gets bounced for like the billionth time. That's all he's gotten done in today's episode, he's gotten bounced a bunch. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh indeed. Okay, so. I want Rabbit Luigi to be able to get to move in here. So we're gonna have him do that. That's gonna take him out, which will be really good. And then maybe move him here? I mean, we could even do that. I just don't know if that's a good idea or not. I mean, we actually have more range of movement if we don't jump off Mario, at least in this direction. We ought to take care of one Valkyrie, which is a whole lot better than none. And then Mario, my main man, you're gonna have to get something done here. I have to decide what that is soon enough, but wow, why does Peach has like a ton of movement now? Okay, I mean, I don't mind it because she can definitely get some major healing on by just doing this. Okay, awesome. So, dash you, jump off of you, boom, and heal. And then Mari can get slightly more heals by doing that. Can't quite bounce off Rabbit Luigi, didn't think about that one all the way. And then from here, he can't really hit too many people. From here, he also can't hit too many people. No matter what he does here, he's not gonna be able to hit many people. Okay, I think my best bet is to sit here, try to get the 50% shot on the bouncer or somebody. But we can damage boost everybody from here, right? I think. The Valkyries are really tough, by the way. They're like some of the toughest enemies. You can't damage boost Rabbit Luigi, so I really question if this is worth doing then. This would hurt so many people though, if we could damage boost it, I think it might be worth it. So boom, damage boost me and you. 
We will try to blast. I want to blast that guy in the back. If we could land it, I love how he just goes all the way down and we miss it, of course, of course. What else would we do? I need to take him out though. So please land. Oh, it will. But you're running the wrong way. I was hoping you'd run closer to the group. I hate burn. Burn is so bad. Like, I don't, I don't see like, yeah, there could be some good perks to it if you're really lucky, but who wants a luck-based effect when you could have something that's like guaranteed to be more helpful? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And now I don't really know what I'm gonna prepare for this, so I think we should just get everybody prepared for not being prepared. And then we'll get you ready, even though I don't think you'll get two hit here. And that's all we can do, so. Good luck to us, you only have 40 health, so that's not gonna be that big of a deal. Nobody's gotten damaged yet, but that's about to change. No, it's not. Okay, now it is. Ooh, please don't, you did it. Okay, that wasn't 70 damage, it could have been worse. I just hope we're not going past our turn, we're only in turn three. I say only, but uh, could be a lot worse, I guess. Um, I mean, I really think I just wanna have Peach. This is a 100% chance of landing right here. Or we could go ahead and focus on this guy. This guy does have a tiny bit more health, so it might be good to focus on him. So let's do that. The problem is that Peach, I mean, Mario can't take advantage of that, can he? Yep, I'm an idiot, okay. Well then, 100% chance here. Might have to do that. Okay. I mean, Rabbit Luigi can blast the other guy. So I might just wanna focus on him. Maybe even get a critical? That'd be good. No critical, okay. But we can easily blast you, jump over here, and, and land like behind him. Hmm. It would get rid of one of them, and then we only have one to worry about, and that would be really good. So maybe we should work with that. Do that. Finish him off. And it's a burn, again. And one last, that's really good. Now, if only Peach can take care of this one, that will change everything up. So we'll get this ready, so if this guy does try to pull any shenanigans, he knows what's coming to him. So boom, hit him with this. No critical, but 153 damage. And let's see what you do. Please move, please just try to move. Try to make a move, dude. Yeah, I thought so, boom. Criticaled, he's done for. So just this dude to deal with. So unless he can do 242 damage, which he can't, I think we just won. So where's Rabbit Luigi at? Rabbit Luigi's over here. He can't quite do this, but uh, there's cats making noises. Um, where can we get you? I mean, really, if anything, we could just do this. This would be a good start. Boom, at 102 damage. And then have you land, or wait here, I guess? I mean, where, where can Mario reach? Mario can't reach too far at all. But Peach, where can Peach go? Peach can make it out from there and land here and probably finish this dude off. I can only hope. Because Mario's not gonna be able to reach there in time. So if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will, but I think we just perfected what is, in my opinion, the hardest level in the game so far. I'm sure it won't be overall, but so far, definitely. And on the perfect turn count. <laughs> I'm glad, I am really glad. Okay, we never have to worry about that again in my life, I hope. Maybe, maybe not, but we're not quite done. Even though we took quite a, quite a bit of a beating there, we are not quite done. I have to find another mushroom. There's a mushroom up here. And how I get that, pretty simple. Go through here and, and pick it up. Oh, or not, okay, there you go. And this won't fill me up the full, but it'll get me close enough that I think that we can make Mario survive, because I don't think this next level was as bad. We're about to find out. Oh yeah, this one wasn't too bad. We almost actually got this one done with not that much health. So I think we can do it. But there's only one way to find it, like I said before. I'm hungry for soft pretzels. Not really, it doesn't really have too much to do with what I'm talking about here, but I think we wanna damage boost everybody right away. Cause we can get some good stuff happening here, actually. First, let's just, you know, take a route through here. No way I could really do a ton, but if I were to get, you know, Rabbit Luigi here, for example, we could probably take care of this dude really quick. That is if Mario can reach that far as well, which I think he can. This will, I should have, you know, probably done this part first before moving. Wow, yeah, I definitely should have. <laughs> okay, um, 
Good damage reduce these guys, because what do we have to lose? Everything. Absolutely everything. We could do this, then land over here. We don't want to do that, do we? Uh, I guess just as far as we possibly can. And I think that'd be about here. Boom. And then maybe Peach could get something good done here. I mean, she could throw the ducking, and that would work. It would hit Rabbit Luigi a little bit. I just wish she could uh, run up there and deal with them, but she can't, so I gotta figure something else out. Which I think would be this, right? Okay, well, Rabbit Luigi can't get his health back next turn. Oh, I can't reach that far at all. Okay then, Um, we will heal Rabbit Luigi while keeping as much dis, I wonder, can I heal both of them here? Oh wow, I can look at that! Crazy range, this is definitely worth the upgrade I've been giving it. That was really good. And then we could, but it seems like it might be too dangerous. Actually, no, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Ooh, that could be really good. Blast this dude, land a critical, which I actually wasn't expecting, so whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, take him out, Peach, take him out. Please don't hit Rabbit Luigi too hard. You didn't hit him at all, actually. The only problem is that this is gonna hurt Rabbit Luigi a lot, poor guy. And he does he does a vamp as well. Okay, heroes, you know what to do. Um, do that. Probably just wait out here. And, and then Mario could take the rest of him out to get his health back, good amount too. So, Mario, you could do this, you could do that, and definitely get your health back because of it. Now the only worry is, can Peach run out this far to uh, bounce off these guys and get another heal? I don't think so. Nope, she can't. So, next turn we'll heal everybody, but for right now we'll damage reduce them, just because. I mean, everybody overall is in good straights when it comes to health. Has Rabbit Luigi took a shot? Yeah, he's not, so he'll do it. He'll get some health back from, oh, come on. Burn is awful. <laughs> like, you can't make like defensive or offensive movements without it ruining something. Okay, end this. That's it. <laughs> Definitely upgrading that, and then Peach's, uh, whatever Peach had that did burning. Just no more burning. Any other move, bounce, push, I don't care, just no more burning. Hmm. How can I do this then? I mean, can Mario reach his pipe? It might be easier for Mario to do that at this point. Because he's so far away. I mean, can he blast anybody from here? <laughs> can just slam down the hammer on Princess Peach would be very awful, you don't do that to the princess. Hmm, you can't reach him. But you could blast him with this, right? Not from this angle. Okay, um, maybe have you here? Might be silly, if we uh, defend you with a little bit of this, and then, you know, if I was gonna do this, I might as well put him in that block over there, but whatever, this'll do it. This'll do some kind of job for us. Boom, 102 damage, it's a good start. How many enemies do we have to take out here? Four more. That's a lot. So, boom, finish that turn. Next turn will be really good. This turn is gonna be really, really good. As long as these guys don't move this turn, they do move this turn. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Oh my gosh, we actually might have just messed this up. Why did they get to, why? Why did they get to do that? Come on. I mean, one thing that I could do that's pretty risky is, it, well, first off, let's hit you like this. I'm damage boosting everybody. And then, I could just have, maybe we should move Mario first. Cause Peach could actually stay back here and do a little bit of a jumpy jump. And then Mario, I want you to do something that's pretty simple to understand. Run up here and hit this dude with that big old hammer. And then, uh, yep, but, but, no, this game is dumb. Oh. 
Okay, so this might be a good idea. It might not, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna damage boost everybody. I'm going to have, uh, hmm, how do I wanna do this? I think I could have, hmm. I think I know, I think I know. This won't hit those guys, right? Okay, good. We're gonna throw that over. Boom, 87 damage. We're going to have Luigi, Rabbit Luigi, go over here and about here. This might be good, it might be awful, but we'll find out. <laughs> Rabbit Luigi's gonna go way over here and, and he's gonna distract the Smashers by hitting them, simply. Boom. That's a pretty good amount of damage, Aaron. Oh gosh, you're getting scarily close. Scarily, scarily close. Reduce your damage as much as physically possible. Have Peach come up to this guy as much as possible. Like about here, I guess, would be good. And then we're gonna have Mario come over here, jump off of this guy. I wish we were close enough for hammer damage, but we're not. So maybe I can just distract one, bring him back to like about here, or here I guess. See how that works out. Boom. And then, yeah I could finish him off, but I could also finish this guy off. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Boom, 190, not enough to finish him off, but that might even make Peach mad if I activated this, <laughs> but I didn't. Okay, well we did that now. Now it'll activate. It'll get rid of that Smasher for sure, and it'll hit Mario, but also get rid of him, so it was worth doing, and you, you're gonna go after him, which is good. Okay, so my best bet here is to heal Mario. Mario is low on health for sure. Yeah, he, he's at 145. So first off, where's Luigi? Rabbit Luigi. Do that, move back to like, I mean, if I did that, you'd be in a bit of a dangerous situation, so we should keep everybody like over here. 160's pretty good there. We're not quite done now, are we? We're gonna have Peach come up here and, and heal Mario, but still be in a safe spot. This is why I really like this heal distance, even though this one, of course, is a no-brainer. Now, no matter what we do is we can't get over there like this, but we can still blast him. And that'll be a lot of healing for Mario, because that might not take him out, but if I do Hero Sight and then we blast him, he's gonna move forward. Oh no, we, we got critical, okay. I don't know if the hero zone's gonna be used, or at least used in a good way, but we gotta hope. But that, that healed up Mario a lot. I, don't, I didn't bother seeing what his health was, but I'm gonna assume it was a lot. All right, so you're gonna move over. Mario will blast you with that, which is great. 129 damage, no matter how I get it, is gonna be really good. And he's the only guy who spawned in there, and nobody got hit. <laughs> nobody got hurt. That's good to see. That's the kind of story I want to see is a story where nobody gets hurt. So this will do like 160 damage on its own. Mario's back up to 327 health, which is pretty insane. Best thing I could do then is to get you like here. And then, I mean really, yeah, I guess the best thing is just to do this. Cause there's nothing really more we can do. I mean, if anything, as Peach, I could go over here and heal Mario a little bit more and then literally get as close as I physically can back to this spot. So, um, Mario, you can pick up some of these coins. That could be helpful. And we'll leave it with, maybe, maybe I'll move Mario a little bit closer. Move Mario to like here. That way we can set up a team jump if we need it for some extra damage in here. The Smashers are gonna pop up. I don't think they'll be able to get close enough. They will not, which is really good because they'll both move close enough to hang out. Oh wow, and there's three more over there. Okay, so first things first is we're gonna slide tackle these guys, do so much damage to them. And then maybe finish off by going back over here. I, I have to check the tactic cam to see if, um. Will they be able to reach me if I hit them? They will not, they'll be one space away from doing so. Same thing for this guy, same thing for, for this guy, okay. So, as a, uh, should I damage boost here? Can I? I cannot damage boost. Okay, maybe it's for the better. 
They both have the same amount of health right now. Maybe we can even get a lucky crit? Not quite, that's fine. I get even more health healed. Neither of them will be close enough to he hit me. I was gonna say heal me. Even though that is technically true. That's not what I meant. So we'll do that. Oh, I know what I can do here. This is actually quite simple. I can not worry about that. I can slide attack, do that, land here, and, and then we gotta start moving this way to deal with all these guys. Man, that multiple slide tackle from Rabbit Luigi, I feel like is making my team right now. It is so good. Okay, so that's all the enemies taken out. There's not much more we can do, so let's get everybody else out here and ready. All right, so they're gonna start coming on over. Will Rabbit Luigi be able to reach them? No, at least one of them, I think. Okay, we can really make this work, I think. Oh, that's right, they attacked this turn. Thanks, game. Um, Rabbit Luigi can't reach any of them. We know he can reach two. 160 damage each is a huge amount of damage, so I will get started with that. And land you here. And Mario can damage boost this turn, which I think doesn't affect um the slide tackle, so I don't need to worry about that too much right now. Peach is way far off though, which is the huge problem with this. I think it'd almost be better for her to just make her way over this way then. And then, uh, Mario buddy, we might have messed up a little bit with you. I mean, really, not really. Ooh, we got some strategies we can do here. We're gonna get you here. We're gonna go ahead and damage boost. Mario time. And if we could land a crit here, that'd be big. If not, this might be GG. It was not a crit. Oh no, it did take that guy out there. Okay, so this will hurt. It was a critical too. Oh no, we did it. <laughs> Wait, why did we win? Wait, what? Why did we win? He hit us and we won. Am I not understanding Vamp there? <laughs> I am so confused. I mean, I won't complain, and I'm simply not arguing it, but why did we win? Okay, so we've perfected everything except for this boss fight, which we will perfect now, hopefully. Hopefully. Actually, before we do, I need to um see what we can upgrade. We should have a good chunk of coins. We won't have any more power orbs, which stinks because I want more distance, but hey. um, Can't upgrade anything here. Uh, can I upgrade his hammer? I can, from 175 to 260, that is insane. We're gonna do honey. Honey for sure, boom. Uh, Rabbit Luigi, nope. Yep. <laughs> Uh, now Peach, uh, she can actually, actually, yeah, she could have gotten a really considerable damage upgrade that I didn't realize there. I mean, she did just fine with what she had last time. So I think we'll work with that, and I think we can get some st stuff done. I think this will still be fine. Let's get started with the, no, I always do that every time. Battle. The problem, once again, is that I can't get over here to slide tackle that, but we might be able to do something. I want Rabbit Luigi to hide behind a metal block this time. So maybe here. That way, um, if this ice gets shattered, he's not completely in an awful situation. And then, that won't do anything. Mario can hide like here for now, I think is the best bet. And then as a... Yeah, you can't do anything. So, Rabbit Luigi, can you hit like some of those guys? You could. I wouldn't be too bad right there. Boom. Definitely good to have this upgraded. And it, wow, 180 damage there right off the bat and you won't be able to get too close to us either. And I like it, that was a good start. Lucky start, we're finally using that bounce against him. That hurt, but he actually moved back, which is good. They're all gonna be defense, uh, defended, which is okay, I think. So our main focus here then, we finding a character that can get up here and slide tackle this, of course, that's gonna be Peach. So maybe we should do move other characters first? Because I don't wanna use a damage boost if all the characters are gonna be, um, I don't know, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I wanna use a damage boost though. I mean, Rabbit Luigi is the only one who's gotten damage so far. My light? I don't know what he said there. I will get this ready. This might not hurt. 
and then it'll just blast you normally. It's gonna share the damage a little bit and be a critical, so 99 each is a good share. We'll get you here, Abba Luigi. Hopefully your shot can reach this far. It can, so hey, more damage stacking on. I definitely didn't want to use the uh, damage boost here because I just it won't go as far. Hmm. And then we can get Peach either super close to either deal with this dude. Hmm. Well, we can do this, and then we can get her hero sight going on. Or whatever it's called, the princess gaze, the royal gaze. We'll do the royal gaze. But more importantly, we're just gonna blast this dude. Do as much damage as we possibly can to him right now. Another 100. I can't believe that hasn't taken off a Valkyrie yet. That's actually pretty insane. So we'll end the turn there. And if this Valkyrie moves, we'll be able to blast him good. Will he land this? Oh yeah, he'll land that for sure. What am I talking about? Um, let's fast forward this then. She's gonna get beat up, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. It's really not that bad. Boom, get rid of you. Wish he could have ran the other direction so we could have also hit the dude, man. You know what I mean. Hmm. So once again, we could, in all technicality, you know, go up here and damage boost and really hammer on him. I just don't know if we need to. Like Mario could run up here and do that, use the actual hammer, but you know, I just sort of mess it up because <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have because now he's right next to uh, Rabbit Luigi who's gonna take a beating from that. So boom, deal with you like that. That's a, gonna be a critical, which is really good. Rabbit Luigi can do much of the same. 168 damage is insane as well. He's doing so much more damage than when we first faced this boss that I think we'll be able to figure this out. And then from this turn already, Peach can get some stuff done. So Peach can run, run over to this pipe. I mean, can she slide tackle him? She can't at all. But um, go up here, hit this, and then we don't want that. Instead, I want her to just stand here and try to blast that Valkyrie if she can. It'd be cool if you could attack these lights and take them out that way. I mean, maybe you can, and I just haven't noticed that yet. Because if we attack you, and it will be over that one. If we do this, it will also attack, but actually won't do as much damage. We really need to upgrade that ducky. Will this destroy the light? It won't. Okay, the only way you can take care of the light is by sliding it. Okay, that's all we can do. Peach might get attacked you a little bit. Honestly, the least of my worries, I think. Oh, well, maybe it should have been more of my worries. Oh yeah, she's really, okay, she ain't doing so well. <laughs> hmm, I mean, that can change around really quickly though. All we need is Mario or somebody, Rabbit Luigi would be the best bet. That's unfortunate. Well, we might as well get rid of this dude then. Then maybe have Rabbit Luigi like over here, or maybe just back here. Hmm, hard to decide, hard to decide. Yeah, let's put him back here. We'll we'll have him one space farther. You know, it is progress though, no matter what. That is, if Mario can get over here and turn off the light. I would be really annoyed if he can't. Oof, I'm really annoyed. <laughs> Come on, that is so baloney. Come on, that is so baloney. Oh, I really don't like that. And we couldn't even land on him if we tried. Ugh. You know what, I'm getting you over here then. I mean, I need him closer though. So we're gonna go like this and hammer attack him. If that's what we gotta do, then it's what we gotta do. I mean, I don't know why I did it like that, but, cause we need to get rid of Yoon. Ooh, boom. That does increase some odds, but really wish it was better. And now Peach could go through this pipe. I mean, if not anything, in attempts to get away from these brutes because I don't think I can avoid them at this point. I mean, I think my best bet is to try to de destroy him because he's going to hurt me no matter what. He's gonna hurt Peach here, that monster. He's banned from the Mushroom Kingdom for sure. Okay, unfortunately, it's not gonna do a ton, but unless she gets a critical, 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 critical. Boom, no critical. Never when I need it. I mean, not never, I don't wanna discredit. <laughs> Some of the good stuff that happens to me in this game. Because then it may, my, maybe karma will start being a factor and it'll start giving to me less. So you're just gonna turn around and blast Peach. Wow, 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 wow. Now I just, I need this guy right here not to turn around. This, I, I really don't like this map. It's truly challenging. What are you, what are you doing? You're such a jerk. You are such a jerk. Oh, I hate you. 
Well, that's a good start. I honeyed that guy. Um, He's most likely gonna move closer. Well, actually he won't because he's honeyed, so that was a waste. Uh, we'll get you here. And then maybe you could actually rocket the rest of that dude's health? Not the rest of it, but you could rocket him. Let's do it. And then I don't know, maybe Peach could actually get out there and um, throw a ducky at him and actually finish him off. But it'd be better to, it would be better to do it this way though. So let's go ahead and get him or her here and uh, see this figured out. One Valkyrie out on turn one's really good. That's a good start. Finish him off. Don't want to use the ducky if I don't have to because then I can use it for other situations and not wait for it to cool down. He's laughing at me because he thinks he's so smart. But he ain't, he ain't. We can defeat him without an issue. We just can't perfectly defeat him without an issue. All right, Mario taking some damage isn't too bad. I mean, he was the one who got taken out the first time we did this, but I think that now it's more maintainable. Because we need to both keep characters close together, but also not at the same time. And it's really tough to do that. I mean, really, like, is it even possible? So I could slide attack that, and then like land over here, or maybe I should move Rabbit Luigi closer to like here, and hopefully that wasn't too far for Mario. It might be, might have been too far for Mario. Oh yeah, of course, it's way too far for Mario. What was I thinking? I don't know. Nothing good. Nothing good. Okay. He just blabs and he blabs and he blabs. He loves having that that stage all to himself, though. Okay, so what is it? Okay, so he's not gonna get damage boosted, so maybe that's not worth it. Because I can get Peach like here, and I will hit Rabbit Luigi once again. Rabbit Luigi is the one who's most capable, though, so I'm not really too worried about that. Boom! Hit you like that. He's upset about it, but he'll live. Um, do that, that might have been a mistake. The problem is that he is shielded here. But this will actually take care of the Valkyrie, I think. Boom, it will. Then maybe we should have made Rabbit Luigi do that because he would have hit harder. I mean, um, Mario would have hit harder, so we want to do him when it's not, you know, well, you know what I mean, <laughs> hopefully. I mean, who has the stronger hit? This is 155 to 165. Oh yeah, Mario still has a stronger hat. Okay, that's all we can do. He's gonna look pretty, or at least try to. I don't know if he's succeeding. Gonna attack, wow, that is ridiculous. Come on, dude, really? Well then, I don't know, Peach could blast you again. I would like Rabbit Luigi to move though, if that's gonna be the case. So let's move him back to like, here. Cause this is where the, uh, the shield dudes are gonna pop up. This won't finish him off, oddly enough. But Rabbit Luigi can do that now, or Marion. Either of the two. Maybe this would be better, though, because now we can actually take care of some of these lights, and that would be really good. I don't know if we can take care of all of them, but most of them, right? The one that's been giving us the most issues, which is over here. Mario can do that one, because he hasn't moved yet. So, take that out, buddy. And then run over here. For your, it's not like your dear life depends on it. We need to utilize Rabbit Luigi's, you know, things more. Oh, we can't get her over here just yet, but it's very close, so. We'll try hiding him here, or hiding her here. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> this will help Peach more than it'll help, uh, Rabbit Luigi, I think, but that's fine. So she is. So is he calling them up from the ground? He is. Okay. My voice is so worn. I know I keep like taking every two seconds. I keep t taking a break to drink tea, but I really darn need it. And I ran out of tea, so I'm drinking water now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what is the best case scenario? I can slide attack this, move over here, and do a very similar strategy to what I've done before. But maybe now I can get a. Rabbit Luigi's uh, friendship and support out of it? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'll have to find out. <laughs> but now he's he's out in the open. This will not hit Rabbit Luigi at all. Okay. It actually, will it graze this dude a little bit? Not really. Okay, let's just do this. Wait, did I do the wrong one? I did not, okay, good. 
He's he's frozen now, which is good. I don't know where Mario should move then. Maybe over here? Ooh, it's hard to say. I don't know. Maybe just here. So he has a slight amount of, you know, blockage. And then he can just attack him normally. Well, does his power boost reach Rabbit Luigi? It should. It does not. Wow, okay. A little disappointing. Hmm. I think the only way I'm gonna hit this guy is if I use the uh, the rocket launcher, which makes me wish that uh, maybe I did that before I moved Peach over there. But hey, it's fine, because we'll take him out. So get rid of him. Peach is gonna take a bit of a beating. But we can make this work then, because we can move. Mario, do, just do that, yeah. And a hundred, wow, that is so much damage, that's fantastic. Okay, Rabbit Luigi, you can't do a ton, but what you could do is hide here and reduce the damage of this dude at the very least. And then be done with that. So many things can go wrong in this boss fight, it's insane, including this. Because this is just a guaranteed push. But I see what we can do here. He's gonna move over, he's actually not gonna, okay, yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna try to blast Mario, and he did, and it was a waste. You're gonna try to blast Peach, and that worked for you. Okay, I think I know what needs to be done. I can slide tackle you, that's gonna do a good chunk of damage. First off, hold on, how far does Mario's thing reach? Not very far, they're all gonna have to be like on that little strip. But I can make that work, I can make that happen. Hmm. There's not too much I can do about this shielded dude, but I'm doing what I can. So before we do any of that, I mean, she can't, she just simply can't get over there. So she should just focus on taking this guy out, I think. I think that'd be the best situation for her. And one less of these guys is way easier for everybody else, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Um, only problem is it will hit Rabbit Luigi a little bit again. But once again, he's tough, he can handle it. So Mario, can you move anywhere particular that might be really helpful? You can actually. You could move here and and then move about here. And, but if that's gonna be the case, if that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna damage boost first because I don't know if that'll be in range afterwards. So do that, pick up a bunch of coins, because sure, why not? Do this, land off of you, land right here and hammer attack this fool. Whoop, boom, 150 damage. And then we're hammer attacking you. Ooh, it's gonna do so much. I wish it could hit your little buddy over there, but it won't. Come on, come on, boom, 325. So there's no way, oh, oh, that actually took him out too, ooh. Hmm, next turn might be good, might not. I know, we've already seen this. I don't think anybody minds that I skip it. Cause I only have so much time in today. Do that. And he hasn't called up more enemies just yet. We'll just do this to you. It's not gonna do anything, but what more can we do? Okay, so he's gonna call up more baddies. They're peekaboo zone. Not that big of a deal. The only problem is Mario getting pushed out of bounds somehow. I guess he's getting pushed in that little hidey hole area. I hope that Rabbit Luigi can reach that. These guys don't move this turn. All right. He can't, come on. Why is it always like that for these characters? I don't understand. We're just gonna go ahead and get rid of you. I'm gonna stay around here though. That way maybe we can uh, get the shielding. This is the thing. We're both so close and yet so far to all of our teammates and it's infuriating. Boom, do that. Do this. Oh my gosh, man. This is just this is such a ridiculous game at times. Like I can't do that. No matter how much I want to, I can't hit you. But what I could do is Mario, how, how far can Mario run? Just right up to there. So, we're gonna have you be like here. Cause this is where Mario can run up to. And then, we'll have Mario hop off of you, bounce off of you, land about here. Cause it really is like the best he can manage for right now. And then, 
I could try to blast you, and I can. I can successfully hit you. And then, I really wish that blast damage would at least take out these lights, because getting to the lights is so challenging at this point. Finish you off. Boom. So now we don't have anybody to deal with besides the boss, but that is still so challenging. I feel like we need to move Mario out. Like, if we can move Mario and Peach together, that'd be so good. But that is, I mean, Peach actually has a ton of health right now. You're a national treasure! So, Rabbit Luigi has to get closer, Mario has to get farther, and that's just what we gotta do. The thing is, I really hope we don't run out of turns now. If so, I'm gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> the same thing that might happen, that happened in World 2 might happen here, where I, ooh, where I don't actually complete it in the amount of turns and I give up for the day because I don't wanna record for 18 hours. Um. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I still can't. Oh, it is so annoying. Because all I need her to do is bounce up in the air, just simply bounce up into the air and, and deal with it that way. And can't even, why? I feel like it, the game explicitly sometimes takes away a block or two. I know it's not, but it sure as heck feels like it. Ugh. I mean, really, what more can we do besides get them to be as safe as they can, have Rabbit Luigi just keep moving forward a little bits at a time and have Peach heal Mario. I mean, before there was a slight chance maybe Peach could heal the both of them, but she couldn't reach that far because the game's mean to me. Mario um, could keep moving into smarter and smarter positions, like here and would probably be the best spot. And that's really our turn. Everybody's moved, I can damage reduce Yoon. Oh, that's not, so not fair. Do this then, so it's not bouncing us in places we don't wanna be. Then we're gonna finish the turn. Next turn he's gonna be able to take care of, we didn't ever take care of that light? There are three lights to take out here. And I get it, I get it. So, you can take care of that light, not so much that one, but when you do take care of that one, it'll be two in one turn. I think, maybe. And you got stoned. Can you please just be able to finish the move? This game hates me. This game actually does not like me. The only way I wanna be able to beat this boss fight uh, perfect is if I just get my character so powerful that it's too easy. Because any kind of thing that relies on chance is going to destroy me every time. And that is so frustrating. Let's try this. Boom, I can't quite heal Rabid Luigi from here but I can't get the shield up. Mario's getting back up on health, but I guarantee you we're running out of turns. I can guarantee you, because we just can't get to the lights because of how maneuverability works on this awful map. Why do they only have to be slide tackles? Why? Like, I don't even understand why he needs that stone ability. I feel like that's like so overkill. Keep your composure because if I was that much of a jerk, I'd be constantly about to combust. It'd just be too much for my body to handle. I mean, I guess like right here. I, mean, I don't really know if there's really any kind of opportunity I can actually practically take here. The best thing would be to get Mario as far as I can over here and maybe he can reach the pipe, but he probably won't. And we're done, there, I have no hope that we're not in the turn frame at this point. No need to do any of this because attacking won't do anything. Ouch, oh, what did I say? Oh my gosh, this game. Okay, so we can actually do this here. So first, before we do that, okay, damage boosting, I need the damage boost because I need to take this guy out. Um, well then maybe first we should have everybody move into more proper positions, whatever that might be so that Mario can damage boost that. Go up there and take care, well, he actually can't, now that I'm thinking about it. You wanna know why? Because he can't double dash. I wish we were playing Mario Kart instead of this right now. That'd be a much more enjoyable double dash. There's no way we're getting this in the recommended turns. I will be blown away. I will be absolutely blown away if we do this in the proper amount of turns. I'm glad we didn't damage boost anybody. Finish his turn, he's gonna do another one of these. Poor rabbit Luigi. And he's gonna stone, that's a little overkill again. 
We're just gonna get you across to here and hope you can get close enough to damage boost. Treasure. Oh yeah, cause he's a national treasure. And he keeps going on about that. Still not close enough. Um, I wish I could slide attack him. This will only hurt Rabbit Luigi, so that's not that big of a deal. I mean, I shouldn't do that if I want to damage boost people. Maybe that's my problem, is that I'm a total dingus butt. I mean, I might as well, even if it's just Mario. Because we might be able to do this. It's gonna be so close. <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, this game. Move you here, you're probably gonna get stoned. Oh, you're not, okay. And then move you here. And there you go, there it is. But she can still attack, right? No. Thanks, game. Come on, just speed this up. The game, like, stopped there for a second. Where are you moving? Get back here. I should have activated the... Ah. Okay, it's gonna be all over after this. It's gonna be all over. It's gonna be all over. It's gonna be all over. And then we'll have to do it again because we didn't do it in the right amount of turns. There's no way we did. There's no way, yep. 13 out of nine. That, this map is so atrocious. Well, I only have 24 hours in the day, so that's where we're gonna finish things off for today's episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Phantom so I know you've watched to the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. And wanna see more episodes like this one? Feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.